Hi, my name is Dr. Myra and today I'll be meeting with three of my patients today to give a little insight about me and who I am and what I do and why I do it. I am a spine specialist. I believe the spine is the most important part of your body. The reason is, is because the spine keeps you up and without your spine, you, you can't move. So what your spine does, your spine keeps your body structure up and it keeps you standing and it helps you move freely. Without a healthy spine, the task and movements are going to be difficult and it depends on how the pain is for you. For example, standing up straight, bending over, picking up objects, walking, uh, twisting and moving your neck. When the spine is injured, you have limited movements and you have like basically ability to not move normal. So you're used to like doing a lot probably now you can't. So now you're going to want to try and like help your spine even more instead of getting it bad. Because without a spine, you really can't have like a life. Now let's check in with Serena. Who? Hi, Serena. What's been going on? Hi, so I went to my doctor and I've been having some back pain and they gave me this x-ray to show you. Do you mind laying down for me? For sure. Oh, it seems like you have lordiosis. Lordiosis is an access inward curve of the spine. It differs from the spine normal curves at the cervical, thoracic, and lumbar regions, which are to a degree either chiropact near the neck or Lordia closer to the lower back. Lordiosis is often due to an imbalance between the muscles surrounding the pelvic bone, weak muscles used to uh, lift the legs forward. Hip flexors combined with tight muscles used to arch the back can use an in increased pelvic tail, limiting movements of the lower back. What do you certainly do right now? I am a construction worker. Oh, I see. Construction workers typically develop lordiosis due to their long hours having to stand up. To better your spine, I, I recommend for you to wear a back brace during work and do these stretches and exercises daily. Our exercise is called a dead bug and you will start by laying on your back. Bring your arms straight above your head perpendicular to the ground along with your knees and hips both at a 90 degree angle. Start by lowering the left arm and extending the right leg, both stopping just before touching the ground and then returning to your starting position. Throughout the movement, maintain position of the opposite arm and leg. Keep your core tight throughout the motion. When you return to the starting position, you may relax for a moment before tightening again. This next exercise is called the hip extension draw in maneuver, and it is a simple, easy exercise that strengthens your core. You start by gently contracting the, your pelvic floor and pulling your belly button down towards your spine. Then you hold it for about four to five seconds, then release. Continue to do this for about 12 repetitions. Your hips and ribs should not be moving at all. To make this exercise a little more challenging, bring your leg up towards your hip gently and back down. Continue to do this with your spine in a neutral position. The hip extension with drawing remover is used to prevent abnormal movements of the lumbar spine and pelvis during therapeutic exercises. I'll be sure to start doing those exercises. Thank you so much. I'll check in with you later. My next patient is Veronica Vitas. We had a few consultations about her scoliosis. Hi, Dr. Myra. I've been working on the stretches you've told me to do last week. That's great. To better strengthen your spine, we want to add those two stretches to your routine. Latimus dorsi stretch and the bird dog. Latissimus dorsi stretch. Stand with Good posture in a neutral position, keeping the feet shoulder width apart and the knees very slightly bent. Reaching over your head with both hands, grab your wrists with your left hand. Bend slightly towards the right side until you feel a stretch in the left side of the body. Hold for one or two breaths, then push with the left foot to return to the original position. Begin on the hands and knees with your back straight. Place your hands directly under your shoulders with the knees directly under the hips. Extend one arm straight out and forward while extending the opposite leg straight back. 
Most dancers are prone to ankle sprains, hip and knee injuries and arthritis. So it's great for you that you haven't had any of that sort. As you can see, dancing can sometimes create great stress factors on areas like metasols, t bi sesamones, and limber spine, which is why it's great that we've been keeping an eye on your progress. Dance is physically demanding activity because dancers like you perform repetitive movements for several hours a day. It can lead in, to an increased risk of stress factors and other injuries. In your case, your scoliosis has not became as bad as others. Although I do want to make sure you also wear a back brace for better postures and agamate. I'll make sure to wear the back brace and continue to stretch every night. I definitely can feel the progress as the pain has been easing out. What are some other ways for dancers to prevent back pains and maintain a healthy spine? Stretching the hip flexor in the short term will allow you to adapt a better standing and moving posture. In the long term, you need to work on core control. This means your core muscles to stabilize your back rather than your hip flexors, which will stop them getting tight in the long run. Thank you so much for your time. I'll be looking forward to the next time we meet. Have a great day, and <laughs> thank you. <laughs> My last patient for the day is Juliana. She told me she's been feeling back pain for a while now, so let's see. Hey, Juliana, how's it going? I've been okay, although sometimes I run out of breath and have trouble breathing. How about you? I've been doing well. Your x-ray scans have came back, and it seems to me that you've been developed Chiopasis, probably from poor posture during school and lifting during your work hours. Poor posture, such as slouching, leaning back in chairs and carrying heavy school bags can cause the ligaments and muscles that support the vertebrae to stretch. This can pull the theriotic vertebrae out of their normal position, resulting in chiopasis. Chiopasis can lead to excess pressure on the spine, causing pain, and may also lead breathing difficulties due to pressure put on the lungs, which probably expands while you're having trouble breathing. Are there ways to better my carposis? Yes, definitely. You should do these stretches every day. The horizontal po posture check and the arm raises. People can strengthen their lower back with arm and leg raises. To do these raises, you lie in your front with your forehead to the ground. Extend your arms out over your head with palms positioned out on the ground. Keep your legs straight. Raise one arm off of the ground and hold for two full breaths. Then lower your arm back down. Repeat with each arm and each leg. Aim for 15 repetitions for each limb. Horizontal posture check. Lie flat on the ground with your legs stretched out flat. Place your hands on your stomach just below your ribs and let your shoulders relax towards the ground. Slowly slide your heels up towards your body, bending your knees. Place your handle flat on the ground on your sides. Pay attention to your back. You should feel your entire back in contact with the ground all the way to the top of your shoulder. You may feel a gentle stretch in your back if you have been experiencing kyphosis for a while. Thank you so much. I'll definitely make sure to add this to my daily routine. Hopefully we see progress as time passes. You see, to maintain a healthy spine, a proper diet is key. Certain foods are packed with what your back needs in order to remain healthy and strong. So good back health can start with making the right food choices. Avoiding bad foods is one way to increase health and choosing the right ones is the best way to go. On top of the intensive training, many dancers get little time to recover between the sessions and have no off season. Restrictive diets and unhealthy body weights may also contribute to dance injuries. Proper nutrition is important for dancers of all ages. The proteins you get from certain plants are great for your spine health. These proteins are different from the ones in meat. You should stick to plant-based proteins as much as possible. Animal-based proteins can lead to inflammation. Vegetables are good for you in general, so it's important that you get a lot of them each day to improve your overall health. While healthy all around, veggies are also great for fighting back issues. Calcium is super important for maintaining and improving bone health. The easiest way to get extra calcium in your diet without taking a supplement is increasing your dairy intake. Specifically, go for the ones that are high in calcium, like cheese, milk, and yogurt that all fall into this category. Spine rehabilitation can be seen as seeing a physical therapist and participating in spine condition program. Thanks for Thank turning you. in. <laughs>